Adesanya. High left kick. He carries his hands low. He's got good eyes, but he needs to be cautious. Slips outside the jab with the jab to the body. Got to be cautious he doesn't get hit by the right hand off the clinch, which is something that uh, Alexi Chick's trying as well. He's certainly a show pony. It was the stiff jab that set that off, and you can see just the ability, the slip shots from Ada Senya. Very elusive and unorthodox. Goes with the forearm across the face there, looking to cover up so you can't see where the knee's coming from. Nice sticky left hand jab there from Ada Senya. Ada Senior just needs to be cautious about his range. He switched to southpaw there. Kick to the liver from the southpaw stance. Stiff, sticky jab there. And nice combination work from Ada Senior. Look at sharp with his hands. Body shot there from Ada Senior. Alexi check. He looks really in trouble. He's like a sail in the riggings at this point. He hasn't got an answer. That right hand there got close. Ada Senior, as we've said, his eyes very sharp. Alexa Chick, he's bloodied out of the nose already. Ada Senior, nice little counter right hand there. The first time we've seen Ada Senior caught. He needs to be sharp though. Alexa Chick can throw genuine power. Again, that right hand channel is open from Ada Senior. Needs to just bring the left shoulder slightly higher when he throws that jab. Fakes with the right hand there. Goes with the left kick. Now, Slava Alexa check going to the body. This is not a bad idea against an elusive fighter like Ada Senior. Often in these first rounds, you won't see too many leg kicks as well because it's risky bruising your legs with a lot of low kicks and risking the checks. Misses with that knee there. They just send you a little bit of show, buddy. And the clutch, nice right hand. And then Alexa Chick just seems a measure behind. But don't forget, he has power in his pocket. As we head to the end, on a bloody slab, Elektricic goes back to his corner. Didn't have a lot of success in unlocking the riddle that is Israel Adesanya. And he is standing almost centering. Dismissively so. This is not a style we're accustomed to in New Zealand. Just one inside the ring, one inside the ring. Be interesting to see. We're looking at his corner. His he corner, a very composed. You. you understand? Well, Ada Senior, I have to say that probably should have been called a knockdown Six clean down, on the nose. Ada Senior, for the most part, very, very difficult to touch and gaining the attention of many people in the audience. And we're about to get underway. Oh. In our second round, Ada Senior. He's the Nigerian fighter in the black and yellow shorts. Slava Alexa Chick. He's slapping with it. Nice spinning back fist. He's taken on the gloves though. And makes a check. He's coming back into this round after being badly rocked by the high left kick. And makes a check back once again. That's a jagging body shot with the right hand. Needed to string the left hook onto the end of it. And makes a check those hands up very high. Needs to be cautious off the break, Ada Senior. 
They're breaking up voluntarily, but you've got to be careful of that punch off the break. Nice uppercut from Adesanya. And another right hand over the top. The Dutch hand trap pulling the hand down, and he does it again. Alexa Chip really struggling. Remember, this is a Commonwealth champion that we're seeing pretty easily manhandled by Adesanya. Halfway through the second round. There for the uppercut, too. Misses with the right hand. And you can see just the eyes. Reminiscence of Floyd Mayweather. Very good from Ada Senya. Stinging leg kick down low. Needs to set up with the hands. Another body shot to the liver. <laughs> Once again, bit of show going in here. Step up with that knee. Alexa Chuck, he's in trouble. John Riddle Conway must be looking closely now. Seen so much already this round, we're only in two thirds of the way through it. And it's a check coming on, trying to mount an offense with straight punches. And Ada Senia, well, you may as well send him a telegram. Goes with the left uppercut again, another knee. Ada Senia, we saw performances like this from China where he was undefeated. Great body shots, another right hand there, uppercut, right hand hook. Spinning back kick from Ada Senia. There's a right hand that landed from Alexa Chick momentarily switching to Southport. Ada Senia, stinging leg kick. Again, just the slick handiwork rolling with the shots. Oh, that's a Some of our fans ringside remain unimpressed, but this is a clinical performance. Ada Senior this time, he's back in the corner, barely even breathing. Experience in that corner. Ada Senior, the leaping knee, steps up with the left and launches the right hand. Elevation, hang time. It is impressive. And then clean shots there from Ada Senior. Just so easy for him to pick them. And you'll notice he often uses his left hand to pull down the glove. And there was the final knee right in the ribs. Slava Alexischek needs to pull more than a rabbit out of the head in this round. He has the power, but his face is visibly battered up. If we thought Edwin Sami was slick, Ada Senior is just grease lightning. This is the third and final round of our first quarter final. Ada Senior, the question mark kick slides over the top of Alexa Chick. Alexa Chick in the red, the ever more heavily tattooed of the two fighters. Ada Senior, the blue thumbs on his gloves. 30 seconds gone in this, the third and final round. Once again, and a clubbing right hand there, nice knee, left knee to the ribs. Working on the body now, Ada Senior, picking his shots. He's been very economical. He's a very good kicker, but we haven't seen too much of it. Saving his legs for the later rounds at this point. Looking for the liver shot, Ada Senior off the left hand. Just got to be cautious about dropping those hands. Two minutes gone. That one went a little low. Well, good sportsmanship from Alexa Chick. And now he gets clobbered by the uppercut. Nice right hand to the body from Alexa Chick. Well, he was let off the hook and then answered with a knee of his own. Ada Senior. Got to be watching that right hand. He's just needs to hook it a little more. Alexa Chick. It's a brave performance at this point. He's been rocked several times. Halfway through this, the third and final. Setting up the inside kick with the left leg, Ada Senior. His handiwork very crisp. And again, Ada Senior has come up from light heavy super metal. So has Alexa Chick. 
Catches the leg kick, comes with the right hand. But now down into the final minute of this, the third and final. Slips the right hand once again. So sick, sick back to Tan. Barely missing with that step up knee. And again, just Alexa Chick, he just can't catch him. He hasn't got the speed. Hasn't got the sleight of hand to set him up. Alexa Chick needs to go to the body and not so much the head. Too slick. And there was the key to opening him up. Right hand to the body, left hook to the head. Less than 30 seconds to go. And this is our first quarter final. No question who's ahead. It's a case of conserving the lead now for Ada Senior. 15 seconds. Another step up, left knee. Just needs to be cautious on the break, Ada Senior. He doesn't get hit. Final 10 seconds. Ada Senior let him off the hook. Chick. It was a brave performance, but he quite simply had no answers. And Israel Adesanya heads over to the Liga quarter. Eddie Tongalahi, Joe Hopkins there. There are no doubt as to who won that bout, but that is ominous signs for whoever comes next in the semi final as we make the formalities centre ring. And while we're awaiting the scorecards to come together, you can see Ada Senior, he's barely broken a sweep. And it was a clinic. Just had all the options, all the time in the world. That jab set up so much, the right hand to the body, the body shots to the liver. And he painted a picture on Alexa Chick's face. And just the eyes so sharp from Ada Senior. Little bit of showboating. And happy to Players have that first ring, in the bag as we go to the cards. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision where we find a unanimous decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner! Israel, right from the get-go, there was a, a show on the walkout and a show inside. Are you happy with the way that one went? Uh, sort of. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. First off, give it up for Slav. He's a homeboy of mine. We've traveled together. We've been you know, training even for this fight. We've been training together, so he's a champ. Well, you know, tonight I had to come in and just ice that. You know, it sucks to take his dream away from him for this fight, but it's part of the game. Conserve plenty of energy there? Uh, was that? Did you conserve enough energy there? A uh, little bit. I got gas for days, man. What's up? What didn't you like about that fight from your perspective that you need to go into the semi-final with? It took too long. You don't get paid by the round, you know, but I'm just trying to be the champion here tonight and got two more fights to go, so it's a hard night in the workplace. Gotta ask you one question. End of the first round, you didn't, you didn't sit down. What was all that about? You know, it is what it is. Styles. Oh. Fair play. It is what it is. Israel Adesanya. We won't die wondering. Israel Adesanya in the white shorts. With the black trim out of the blue corner, sticky jab to lead things off. Big knee already from Adesanya off the ropes. Uh, Foa just drifted into range. Very crafty, Adesanya. Well, very hard to tag. Long sticking left hand to the body, Adesanya. Afoa, he has the shorter limbs, he needs to get inside, although he did graze his chin with that. Left hook, counter right hand there. Afoa is used to fighting taller guys. He's looking to load that right hand. Again, Adesanya goes out of the way of that. 
Corner's calling for him just to keep that jab out, not stepping into range, no risks. Hands dropping, he switched to South Korea to senior. Hooking right hand. Easy work as the medics crowd around ringside. Paddy Afala just taking his time. It was all started. He landed a couple of clipping right hands. Adesanya showboated and then pulled the head kick with the left leg out of nowhere. In this case, you just have to allow time for the fighter to come to. There's some very experienced medics ringside. Adesanya just checking in on his man. Great sportsmanship showing. We will take time. And it all started with that clipping right hand, Ada Senya. Just too sharp, really. Afoa, he dropped his right hand badly. Boom. Across the shin, across the neck. Boom, right on the jaw, all over. Unfortunately, he was allowed to continue, and it was a clipping right hand off that. And just too much, Afoa. He was chilled, knocked out cold. Ada Senya, clinical in that finish, taking his record to 36 wins and 17 KOs. Paddy Afoa comes to after about five minutes on my count. We are just waiting. on the official decision. It is a formality. What will happen now for our foe is he will go out back and he'll be monitored very clearly by the medical professionals. It was certainly a sickening knockout from the style bender. He was clinical. Paddy Afara back to his feet. It was a brutal knockout. But camaraderie, this is a martial art. And a lot of concern shown by Ada Senya for his opponent. Well, Israel, such as is the fight game, but devastating yet again. Yeah. For me, it sucks because, I mean, it's part of it, you know, but when you come in here, you just, you just have to do work, you know? Yeah, it sucks, but it's part of the game. Mate, you're standing up and making everybody take notice here. You must be very confident going into the final now. Hey, yo, if you follow me on social network, I talk a lot, but, you know, I back it up. <laughs> Slick start from Ada Senya. He's very quick. Eads needs to find rhythm, falling short on that right hand. Long, sticky jab there. That's a step up side kick, something he learned in China. Ada Senya jabs to the body. There is no fanfare, there is no style. He is all business. Eads trying to look for the step over. Ada Senya on that jab. Ada 
Kyokushin background where the body gets the battering. He has very good conditioning, but quite simply, he was cut in half by that knee. Like I said in the first fight, it went on too long. You don't get paid by the round, so you got to get in there and get out quickly. Tell us about the three fights. I mean, has this been just one of those special nights for you? Definitely. Hey, what did I say? Told you so. Oh. You know how to get a crowd on your side, too. People love knockouts. It's tough, though. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, it's a hard job, you know? It's not easy. A lot of struggles happen, you know, coming up to this fight, you know? But here we are. All about mindset. Believe in whatever you want to do, you can do it. I promise. Tell us about Glory and would you like to get back in the Glory ring? Definitely. They're going to give us a call soon, maybe late October, we don't know. But uh, yeah, whatever. Hey, shout out to Cody, shout out to my sponsors, Bow Fighters. Thanks, Jason and Anna, for putting on the awesome show. Real quick, can I say, this is the best show on New Zealand TV, combat sports wise. I'm telling you, this needs to be on pay per view next year, I promise. All right, well, that's, uh, that was one hell of a knockout tonight and had another good stoppage as well. So, mate, we look forward to seeing you a lot more. Real quick. Hey, Eugene, my man. I know he's, he's probably running away, but thanks for all the help. Doug, CKB, Bow Fighters, Stain Skin, Steve Illicit, um, Combat Kings. What's up? Hey, yo, after party at Bungalow 8. Y'all buy me drinks because I'm broke. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen, your king in the ring, 86 champion, Israel Adesanya. <laughs> Well, Israel Adesanya, $10,000 from Jason Sati. He is the cruiserweight king in the ring. He has dethroned the champion. He has stopped two fighters in the first round. Representing City Kickboxing. He's the current New Zealand cruiserweight king in the ring champion and super eight boxing champion. He has 41 wins, two losses, two draws. With 21 big wins coming by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Israel, the style bender, Adesanya! Three threes with the Belmont's referee in charge is the Rebel John Conway. Intensity is apparent, Kim Loudon, he is older, the weights are similar. Adesanya has a notable fight 
height advantage. And the records are pretty much even at 43 pints apiece. And we are Hold underway. On. Adesanya starting off low early. Loudon. He tends to start slowly, but he is very heavy handed. Adesanya switching to Southpaw momentarily. He's got his hands low. Loudon won't make that mistake. <laughs> Bit of talk in the ring. Loudon with that chopping left hook. Plenty of showboating. Look to see the head kick come up high from the right leg from Adesanya. Loudon dropping his left hand. There's a heavy left kick in the jab. Loudon can't find his way in at this point. Adesanya hasn't broken a sweat yet. Heavy straight left from the south four position. Switches over Adesanya. Chris Pans, big knee. K1 rules, or K in the ring rules rather. Two hands, one knee, then you have to let go. Adesanya, unlike some of the other fighters, knows how to use his height to shut down the grapple. Sticky jab, crisp right hand. There's the right hand that's knocked out. Asha Dervisha just two weeks ago. He gets those legs up so easily. Slipped momentarily, needs to be cautious. Heavy hands from Loudon, but Adesanya barely bothered by it. This is a rematch. Loudon was stopped in the fourth round of a brutal fight. Heavy right hand off the uppercut. Goes downstairs with the left hand liver shot as well. Adesanya doubling up. Pulls back Mayweather style. Now he switched to Southpaw again. All class Adesanya. Makes it look so easy. That one came off the shoulder. Left hook, right hand, counter, second face. Beautiful work from Adesanya. Another heavy right hand. Loudon keeps his wits about him. It is all style from Adesanya. He does things that so many people can't even dream of. He's rocked badly loud and he could be out of here. The seconds are ticking away and this is the first round. Adesanya, dominant. Dominant. Adesanya, simply a class above the most experienced fighter in the field. 53 Nelson Street in the city. We'll see you there. Well, you could see very early on why he is the runaway favorite. Barely breathing, dictated the pace. Yeah. Good distance. Yeah. But, uh, I his range. Bring it to two, follow the high eight, and then another two, but he's going this way a lot. They're calling for the right hand, followed by the left head kick. Trying to catch Loudon on the drift. Well, it was a round that was pretty much a Adesanya highlight reel. The leaping knees that he throws Seconds so well. For round two. Twists in the clinch. And just balance. And you can see sheer relaxation. This is the second round of our third quarter final. Adesanya, the right of your screen, Kim Loudon. With the orangey slash yellow hair in the left screen coming out of the blue corner. Loud and drop, he's already starting to feel that lead leg of his is very heavy on it. He's there for the right hand too. Adesanya delivers on cue. Again, Adesanya deflecting, blocking all of those punches. Loud and though does have heavy hands, you cannot make a mistake.
Adesanya does need to watch dropping his head. But you can simply see too quick for Loudon, who eats another right hand for his trouble. Adesanya in the southpaw stance. Loudon is not a bad fighter at all. It's just Adesanya is too good. He is making him look foolish. This is the man who won the Knees of Fury 8-man. This is a man with 32 victories and 22 KOs. Adesanya. Beautiful head work. Just picking him off at will. Flipping right hand again. Loudon in trouble now. Big trouble. Referee looking very closely. Adesanya, just beautiful work. Loudon, how tough is he? How tough is he? And he goes down. Is it a count or is it a stoppage? How can he get up from that sustained punishment? It took four rounds to stop him in their last outing, but Adesanya is on fire. Just patience now needed from Adesanya. Lands the right hand again. Still throwing loud and it's just beauty to watch though. Adesanya, he is just so elusive, so classy. Nice little clipping right hand there from Loudon. He's playing with him. Though he did land two of those right hands now. Adesanya needs to start to go to work again. Two eight counts and this is over. Look to see a knee to finish soon. You can't help but feel Adesanya let him off the hook. He's covered in his own blood, Loudon. A brave fighter. Very brave. Wouldn't surprise me to see the referee taking a close look. Doug Viney, former K1 Las Vegas champion, an Olympic boxer, making the calls in Adesanya's corner. Adesanya, just the head movement, crisp handiwork. Landing again and again and again, and Loudon simply had nowhere left to go but the canvas. Referee John Conway sending Adesanya to the corner. He is a tough campaigner, though, Loudon. He will keep firing. Adesanya already sent a ring waiting. He's cut over his eye. He's bleeding from the nose. It's the doctor there. Just taking a quick look. Well, he's been cleared to continue. He's a tough man. Kim Loudon. Very heavy handed. Round three. Adesanya. Adesanya needing to be a little more clinical with his man. Beautiful right hand from Adesanya. Loudon, though, he's so tough. Going downstairs to the body, Loudon. You can see he just continues to pressure forward. He's a strong man, and there's a front kick from Loudon. Now another right hand from Adesanya. Referee must be looking closely here. The Rebel Conway comes it's in. Over. Adesanya. Simply too good. Loudon started the third round well. Adesanya made him miss most and finished him off with clinical efficiency. And that's our first KO of the evening. A dominant TKO victory in the third round by Israel Adesanya. We now have two Kiwis and an Aussie through to the King in the Ring Cruiserweight semi-final.
Fighters to the center ring, please. Lieutenant Dan Hennessy about to. Ladies and gentlemen, with 46 seconds into the third round, your winner by TKO and going on to the semifinals, fighting out of the red corner, Israel, the style bender, Adansanya! City Kickboxing. He's the current New Zealand Cruiserweight King of the Ring champion and Super 8 Cruiserweight Boxing champion. He now has 42 wins. Two losses with two draws, with 21 big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Israel, the style bender, Adesanya! What? And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He has 10 wins, four losses, two draws. He's fighting there out is his plenty of invective between these two Lester fighters. Adesanya trying to do a head job on Ladies Tim's. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your heads together, representing Paul John Jim. This is his own introduction Paul across the ring. Tim's. This is a man Three who will take no steps back. Charge is Clyde Cowley. Clyde Cowley will have his work That's cut out. Mark Sims, he will not take a backward step. Israel Adesanya. Well, tail of the tape. Israel Adesanya has the height Ladies advantage. And gentlemen, he are has the you fight experience ready? advantage. Mark Sims, possibly the power advantage. And we're underway. Let's see if speed will overcome power. Adesanya, very heavy leg kick. We don't see him use it that often. You can see him using his range perfectly. Let's see whether class will overcome power. Just the ability to make people miss. And that's the third heavy kick he's landed. And look at the reddening on the thigh of Mark Tim's already. Sims lands his first shot, very light shot for the inside thigh. Sims trying to fake his way in, see if he can catch Adesanya. Adesanya with that long jab. Looking at, there's a spinning kick to the liver. Sims would have felt that. Knockdown, not called. Good call from referee Clyde Cowley. Don't be surprised to see Adesanya go to the body again. Adesanya just a little bit too chin up there. And he's a counter puncher, Tims. When you touch him is when he's dangerous. He's very tight on his guard. Adesanya looks like he's on point. Not letting his man get a feel. Little cuffing right hand over the top. Counter left hook to Adesanya's up jab. All the fans are working. Big body shot from Adesanya. Goes upstairs. Flipping right hand body work. Shuffles out of trouble. Adesanya eyes. Very good. His corner's calling him for him to work off the feint. Left uppercut, right hand. Adesanya just has his range on point. Mark Timms is a great fighter. Been rocked by that right hand. Adesanya second phasing off the kicks. 31 seconds, and this is the first round. Bag knee there from Adesanya. Nineteen seconds to go, and this is the first round. Tim's just can't quite get a tag on his man. He can't feel him and he can't get rhythm. That lead leg of his has taken some severe punishment. Matt needs to start a few fakes himself. Round one. Imperious work. 
Israel Adesanya. Shane Cameron looks pretty impressed. Mark Timms probably only landed a couple of shots through that round. Round two coming up. Pretty quiet in the corner. They're happy with that work. That was a spinning back kick to the liver, and that was dangerous. He's certainly tough. Tims, Adesanya pretty much had it all over him, looking for that characteristic butt tap that we've seen him do on a few occasions. They're calling for a lot of fakes, see if they can draw the reaction from Tims. Adesanya still talking. Well, here we go, Mark Timms, he's a brave boy. He won't take a backward step. Adesanya looks like he's three quarters of the way across the ring. Well, Jack in the box. Landed that kick in anger there, Tims, keeping his gloves glued to his head. Addison is range down pat. There's a lot of intensity in these exchanges. Tim's getting a little bit closer with his kicks though. A little bit closer with his punches. He's finding a range now. Adesanya against the ropes is most dangerous. That knee was beautiful work. Adesanya with the uppercut right hand. Just changing up his rhythm. Tim's finding range with the kicks once again. But it's not enough. He's timing though. Adesanya just overthrowing the right hand. Slapping left hook. Tim's coming with the midsection kick. Misses with the right hand. Heavy right hand again. Doubles up on it. Very few fighters can do that from such close range. Adesanya deflecting the kicks off. Beautiful leg right hand. Will Tim's get up from that? The left knee coming off. It was vicious and delicious. Can Tim's make his way up? It's all it's over. over. His second win by the short route from Israel Adesanya. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. The ability to step up around step up when the pressure goes on Israel Adesanya he did it he was clinical pure class well while Simon mate has had to go three hard, to six the center, hard rounds please. Adesanya has only had to go three and a half two wins by the short route ladies and gentlemen with one minute and 58 seconds into the second round, your winner by TKO and going on to the finals, fighting out of the blue corner, Israel, the style bender, Adesanya! He represents City Kickboxing. He is the current New Zealand Cruiserweight King of the Ring champion and Super Ring Cruiserweight Boxing champion. He has 42 wins, two losses, two draws. It is now a local boys show. Adesanya, the mind tricks already started. A foe though made of tough stuff. Come on, good people, let's make some noise!
Uh, Fala, older, shorter. Weights are similar. Experience advantage in favour of Adesanya. And we're about to get underway. This is the king in the ring. Trans Tasman Cruiserweight final. Israel Adesanya and Patti Afoa. Spinning hook kick up high. Is there anything this kid can't do? Afoa will keep a tight guard and look for an opportunity to exploit the chin of Adesanya. He is very hard to hit, however. Afoa back up to the ropes by volleys of long punches. Adesanya has been very much on point with his range tonight. Just deflecting that right hand off the shoulder. Another head kick there from Adesanya. Big shots from Adesanya. And the referee has stopped it. I think it's too late. A first round knockout. Adesanya lands the head kick. Memories of their first fight. No question, a dominant champion. Afoa, he clutched his eye. Perhaps the big toe went into the eye. There is a lot of blood and claret. A nasty cut over the eye. It's opened up a huge gash. Well, it has been dominant. Three fights, three KOs, left hook, and massive head kick. Wrapped the shin around the front of the face. Afoa tried with all his might to stay upright. Adesanya gave an opportunity for the referee to come in. He delivered both those knees to the body. That final one to the head. Clyde Cowley, a little bit late for that second right hand. Afoa, he was blinded at that point. Paddy Afoa, brave to step up tonight. Fight us no to the center ring, the please. Heart of this man. He wanted the rematch. He received it. These two are friends outside of the ring, despite the hype and intensity beforehand. Adesanya, simply a class Fight above. Fight us to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, with one minute and three seconds gone in the very first round, your winner by knockout, fighting out of the red corner, Israel, the style bender, Adesanya! Adesanya. A lack of fanfare for him. And we're underway. Adesanya out of the red corner. The fluorescent VDK print on his shorts. Switches to Southpaw. Spearing teeth from the left leg. He's heavy on the leg kicks. Good eyes, Adesanya. Four eye going with the spinning hook kick. Adesanya, though, saw it early. seconds in the round. Adesanya spearing him with the jab. Heavy leg kick. They're calling for him to pressure Adesanya and cut the gap, bridge the gap. Adesanya, southpaw jab. Inside thigh kick, heavy kick taken there. White lands his first one. He's very, very fast with his legs. Hasn't really used his hands yet. Fawai reacting to just about every fake. Big knee there. Catches him on the end of a right hand. Adesanya gets himself off the ropes, back out into center ring. Fawai, a compact fighter. 
Adesanya shuffling to his right, coming back with the spearing jab. Boy, looking for that right hand, Adesanya not having a lot of problem landing it. Chopping right hand from Boy. That one landed. Got his attention. He cannot afford to muck around. Adesanya picking him off in relative ease. Big body shot from Adesanya. Quick enough to pretty much throw single shots and pick him off at will. Uh, Desanya with spinning hook kick. We've seen him be a lot more brutal than this in the past, but he's just picking his shots, taking his time. For why he's been very solid. He did land a good right hand, but that's been it so far. First round, dominant from Adesanya, 10-8 with the jumping, spinning, round kick, knockdown. We did see, though, he is human, he can be hit. He was clipped by a right hand coming off the clinch. And it is highlight reel stuff. Just clubbed him down with the, what's known as a spinning round kick. Inside the first 20 seconds, many people would go an entire career wanting to land that once. Adesanya lands it with ease and with regularity. No hurry in the corner. No hurry in the corner whatsoever. The single shots are working. So the game plan is minimizing the risks and picking him off, breaking him down slowly. Adesanya, clearly the lightest man in the field. He'll have to make the 90 kilo limit on Monday evening at Super 8. Starting off at Southpaw once again for White. Looking for the inside kick. Adesanya landing that right hand. Shuffles his leg back, making for White miss. Counted nicely for White. Adesanya is just getting him to react to pretty much every fake. The knee or the uppercut will be coming at some point soon. Spinning back kick for White. Showing that he has some speed and agility himself. Left knee there. Adesanya had time to pick himself up off the ground and get out of the way. Talking to him now. And this is why we love Adesanya so much, or some hate him, but undoubtedly he's an entertainer. Fawai looking for that counter inside kick every time he's touched. It's worked well for him. Very tight guard. And once again, every time he's touched, he's looking to return with a kick. Keeping those gloves very tight. Combos, brother, combos, come on. Adesanya, at this point, just picking him off with the single shots using his speed. This is with the spinning back kick. Dismiss him before his corner. Once again, just imperious. He's hurt him badly now.
30 seconds to go, and this is the second round of our fourth and final quarterfinal. Israel Adesanya putting on a clinic. Crowd's enjoying it. Nasser Fawai, probably less so. He's reacting to everything. Israel trying to pull that right glove forward so he can land the kick. Body shot with the right hand. Fawai looking to land that inside kick. Does it well, but takes the right hand for his trouble. There's no question who run the round. It's certainly entertaining. Adesanya taking a pretty risk-free approach. He's not throwing too much caution to the wind. For White, showing he's tough, Monty, but uh, not a heck of a lot coming in return. No, that's right. He's tried the best he can with the high knee there by Israel Adesanya. Just one of the many sort of displays or varieties of attack that he has. It really is a treat watching this kid fight. We're being treated to a real clinic in terms of a display that you don't normally see. His vision, his reflexes, his movement in the air, it really is great to watch. But I wonder if he can go on with this mentality, not fully committing, knowing that the next fight is against Dan Roberts. Well, they're calling for numbers from Nazi Fuai. But the problem is you can't hit what you can't touch. He's working his leg kicks well. He'd do well to second phase off those leg kicks with punches. And that might open up Adesanya. He's certainly tough, White. Also, the other thing, Monty, I, I guess, too, is the power that Adesanya possesses at cruiserweight, up another 10 kilos. It's certainly different. Adesanya's showboating right to the end. His, his faking is beautiful to watch. Fawai, though, is keeping his hands very high, and he needs to. That's that spearing MMA-style front kick. Looking for the front kick, going with the spinning back kick. It's hard to keep up. It's just a joy to watch from the commentary position. Looking for the the knee, uppercut there, left hook there, landed, but caught him over the air, oh he's brutalised his face, he's been put through a meat grinder, broken nose, Adesanya just picking him off, he's tough though for White, looking for the hand trap where he pulls the gloves down, to open up the chin. And there we saw, almost on cue, he's tough for White, looking for the, the big shot, but the hands are high. So Israel Adesanya takes the knee. Doctor's been called in, and the towel has been thrown in. We didn't see that. Brave performance from Nasi Fawai. I've been sprayed by his blood ringside. Monty Beatham's toweling himself off there's founder of Duco, Dave Higgins. Kickboxing action! Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner. He's the current WKA, ISKA, New South Wales, East Coast Super Heavyweight Champion. Intensity between these two. There is no retreat, no surrender. No one is backing down. He's certainly a man capable of bringing the crowd to his feet.
Settle down, settle down, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. All right. Sit back here with the Plenty of intensity there. Clyde Kelly will have his work cut out. He's a pretty big man himself. Now, let's see what game plan they're going to bring. Adesanya, he's hyped up. No doubt he is emotional. It's unusual for him. And the crowd is sitting or standing on the edge of their seats. Roberts misses early. Adesanya will need to deal with the range. Good check from Adesanya. Makes the man miss. Roberts trying to track him down. Adesanya's game plan is to make him miss. Heavy kick from Adesanya. Roberts catches the kick. Here's a left hook from Adesanya. Roberts has been chinned. from these two. No one expected that from Adesanya. The timing of the left hook caught Dan Roberts on the way in. He finished him with another left hook. Something we haven't seen from him before. Barely got out of the first minute of the first round. And that will tell a story too. It's the up jab from Adesanya. A right hand cuffing. He saw him wobbled badly. Couldn't get him with the head kick. Waited for the opening to develop. And the beauty of Adesanya is just his timing. And it was another long left uppercut from Adesanya. And that undid the tall tower that is Dan Roberts. And we saw he had a good chin early. So Adesanya's power has clearly improved. Remembering he is a natural cruiserweight, setting from the southpaw uppercut, and the eyes rolled back in his head, and there was no getting up. 